Hi, thanks for stopping by and having a look at my video. Today I'm going to show you a card design using the Trusty Tools stamp set. The um, papers that coordinate with that from the Celebrations catalogue and also the dies that go with the Trusty Tools. Um, trusty, oh, sorry, this paper is a free paper in our celebrations catalog. These are lots of great ideas using the paper and um, that you can get for free when you spend $90 in either the annual catalog and or you can combine the January to April catalog. And this is the Trusty Tools bundle. So if you were to buy the bundle, in Australia, um, $96.25, you get 10% off of buying it as a bundle together. Then you can get the papers for free. So a great little idea, great set to buy. And then these are all of the papers. I'm just bringing them in because it's easier to show you. Now for this card that I'm going to be making, I'm using this paper, which on the back is all the measurements. So this is like, a, there, reminds me of a pegboard, but then it has the measurements on the back. Then we've got the red with the screwdrivers, a nice muted back. Um, these look like screws in the back and then these are all images tool images which you could fussy cut some of the dies will fit over the images so you can die cut those as well or fussy cut this is like a toolbox it reminds me of a old-fashioned toolbox and then good design on the back and then again more tools and bits from a workshop and then that is the back of the paper so very very versatile papers I'm also um, resting on the glass mat you can't see it fully in screen i've put paper over the top because while i'm videoing you can see the reflection of my overhead lights so the glass mat is available as a sign up offer when you sign up in january from the 4th of january to the end of february to be a demonstrator whether it's a hobby demonstrator or a full business demonstrator your choice you can choose 235 dollars in product and you only pay $169, plus you get the glass mat, you also get a palette, a working palette, and also a glass cleaning cloth as well to go with your mat. So I'd love you to join my team. I'm in Perth, Western Australia. Um, but whether you're, so long as you're in Australia, then you're able to join my team. If you're overseas, then look up your local demonstrator. So today's card is going to be very simple, but just nice and easy, an easy one to use the different dies. I'm using an A4 sheet of basic thick white paper. I've cut it in portrait orientation at 10.5, scored it in landscape at 14.8, and then scored and... Um, burnished it. I've then got a piece of uh, Poppy Parade. Sorry, I did get these organized just before Christmas. It's now after Christmas and I'm just doing my videos. Um, so this is 10 by 14.3. And then my piece that res resembles to me a pegboard, that is 13.8 by 9.5. So I'm just going to layer all of those together. Actually, I'm not going to layer them all. I will flat glue the mat and then I'm not going to put the pegboard on yet because I need to do some stamping on there so that's my mat done so to do my stamping I've already put on a um, sorry I forgot my stamping mat I've already put my the hammer and also the I think this is a wrench I should know because I spent many hours in the work in the hubby's shed passing tools being the apprentice um so i've got my stamping mat because these are clear stamps and i'm using basic gray and i've just already positioned those on the block where i want them to appear on my stamp on my project and just stamping the image on there then i'm going to bring in a piece of um, smoky slate cardstock and stamp them again you can see I've been practicing. Stamp them again, and then I'm going to go away and die cut them. So I'm also going to cut the. I'm going to cut the hammer because I want the head of the hammer. I'm going to cut the wrench. I'm also going to cut the 
This is a spanner as well. I've already cut one out of basic gray. And I'm also going to cut the head of the, um, no, I'm going to cut the, I've done that wrong. I'm going to cut the head of the hammer out of there. And then I've already cut the full hammer out of the basic black. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've been away and I've done my die cutting. So there is the head of my hammer, the spanner and the wrench. And these are all my die cut pieces. And now I'm going to layer these up. Now the spanner is a little bit plain like this. I want to add some dimension. So to easily do that, just make sure that you could see that. I've actually already added some color to this one. Okay, to easily do that, I've just picked up my dauber, sponge dauber, and some basic gray ink. And I'm just daubering around the edge of the spanner. You can put as much oops, ink or as little ink as you wish, but it just gives the spanner a little bit of interest and dimension. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because in the stamp set and the die set, you've got lots and lots of pieces, but they don't all come with a coordinating stamp. Some of them do, so it's nice to add a little bit of dimension and that's easy to do with the sponge dauber. So that one's done. Um, I'm then going to pull in some glue and I'm going to glue the head of the span the spanner no this is definitely a hammer I'm going to glue the head of the hammer on to the full handle just to make it look like a hammer that's in my husband's workshop so that's all those things done there now comes the fun bit I've been away and I've already cut my drill pieces. Now I modeled this drill on my husband's Ryobi tools. This is your drill die, which cuts out your drill piece like this. I've cut out a second one out of black and I've snipped it so that I can lay the black over the top of the green. I've snipped it here, it's nice and easy. These little circle, this little circle, I want to be black. So in the black, now I've snipped only the black one, snipped it here, 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 and here. Then I've snipped here and just on an angle through here, and then here and here. So that I've got one full piece in the green, because it's like Ryobi, and then one full piece in the black, which I've snipped all the components separate. So now I'm gonna put these pieces together because this is what makes it look like a Ryobi drill. Sorry, I was concentrating, I stopped speaking. Then I'm going to place this bit in, putting a little bit of glue, not too much because you don't want it to smush out, but remember if you put too much glue, touch it to your silicon mat to take some of that glue off, and then put your piece down because touching it to the silicon mat just takes a little bit of the excess glue off so that it doesn't smush out and make a mess everywhere. So that's that little bit there. Then I'm gonna pick up my little circle, put that in place. And then these pieces are leftovers. You could keep those and then do the reverse because Ryobi drills are all different, but you can get those and do keep those for the reverse colors of another drill. Then I'm going to pop my drill head in place and I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the back of there. Now I like to work on a silicon mat because it makes it so easy. It protects your work surface from glue so you don't have as much cleanup and your silicon mat can simply be wiped off with a baby wipe or every now and then I actually do wash it properly in the sink with a little bit of soap and warm water. So there's my drill. Then I've also done some little, the little screws, the nut and the washer. Oops, I just lost that. So now it's time to put my card together. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this. 
If you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I like to use my Take My Pick tool to pick up the dimensionals off the paper. I have some issues with my fingers and this just makes it so much easier to pick up my dimensionals and then also to spike the paper and pull the paper off the back of the dimensionals. It just makes it easier for me. Now I've got my stamped images on the left hand side. So I'm just gonna pop that down on my base. I'm gonna pop my drill into place and I'm gonna use dimensionals for that because I want everything to appear as if it is either attached or in front of the um, pegboard. See, to me, this bit, getting those papers off is fiddly. So much easier with a paper piercing tool. I'm going to put that right down the base so that it's really on the red background. So that's there. Now, my hammer and my wrench, I want it just slightly skewed as if it's hanging on the pegboard, but just swinging to one side or the other. So just a couple of dimensionals, because this is only a very light piece of card. You can use as many as you like, but I'm renowned for not using loads. So I'm actually going to have the head in place, but just that skewed off to the side so that you can see a little bit of the stamping underneath. And I'm going to do the same with the wrench. I'm going to get in trouble if that's really not what it's called, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm going to skew it to the same side, again, having the head as if it's in place, but as if it's swung to the side of the pegboard. And then I'm going to have my spanner through the middle. Now, as I said, there's not a stamp for this one. Actually, I might have it just going up and down as if this one is attached to the pegboard correctly. So that's my base of my card so far. Right, so I'm now gonna get my greeting ready. Now you could put any greeting that you wish. I'm going to use the best family ever stamp set. I love this stamp set. It is awesome because you can make up Happy birthday, thanks, congratulations, best ever, all sorts of different things. And then it's got all your different um, relatives in it. It has the American mum as well as our Aussie mum. You've got dad, you've got grandma, you've got grandpa, um, all sorts of different things. So it's a really great stamp set. So I'm just going to stamp that in Versamark ink. And I'll show you how I easily or more easily align my stamps. Now, I've already got the happy birthday on one side and the husband on the other. My husband's birthday is coming up in March, so I'm going to have his card already. And I stamp the smallest one first. Now, I'm going to roughly place that in the middle of the cardstock. And you can see that I've stamped that in the middle. Then I'm going to flip my stamp over, re-ink and stamp the happy birthday over the top, but I can already see where the previous stamp is. That gives me the best alignment and the best chance of getting that pretty evenly spaced. Bring in my embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then I will go away and heat set that. Okay, with the magic of video, I've already done that. Oops, upside down. So there's my happy birthday husband. And I've done that in um, silver embossing powder. So I'm just going to pop that. I think I will put that. Now I'm going to I'm going to dimensional it because then it will make it more prominent. Um, I've got papers from the previous ones. Just add a few dimensionals, baby dimensionals or mini dimensionals and just put that in place. But as I said, you can put absolutely any greeting on there that you wish. Okay, now the final thing to add is my little screw, which I'm just bringing back in. I've just rolled up a glue dot, just pop that on the back, and I'm just going to put the little screw, the nut, and also the washer. 
on the little greeting. Mm, or near the greeting. That'll go just nicely there. And then the final piece. Now, when you do your die cuts, your die cuts always has a, have a right and a wrong side. The right side is where it's got the soft edges. The wrong side is where it's got your hard edges. I'm going to pop that one up there. I'm just going to twist it around because the little glue dot will give it a little bit of dimension. If it wants to play nicely, tuck that in and underneath because I don't want my card sticking to my envelope. You just see a shiny bit of the glue dot. Okay, that is my card complete. So happy birthday, husband, using the trusty tools at Stamp Set and Dies. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.